When the team behind Pine Gap pitched their idea to Hollywood, they got a common response. They assumed it was all fiction and then someone in the room would Google it, and then they'd say, wait, this thing is real, and then they'd really pay attention, says Greg Hatterick, co-creator with Felicity Packard of the six-part drama that's due to air on the ABC later this year. There was interest from a number of US broadcasters but ultimately it was Netflix that nibbled hardest, and with them came the sort of budget the producers needed to realize their vision for a show about loyalty, deceit and relationships, both personal and geopolitical, centered on the spy facility in the desert 20 kilometers from Alice Springs, without them, we couldn't have made this show at this scale, says Bob Campbell, boss of Screen Time, the production company also responsible for Anzac Girls and the Underbelly franchise. Campbell notes that the streaming giant could have fully funded the show entirely and taken global rights to it, but they knew the ABC had been interested from the beginning, and they were happy to do it as a co-production. I have to say they've been very honorable in the whole process. The real Pine Gap, but having sold the concept, the producers faced one major obstacle in making it, the military base, jointly operated by the US and Australia, is one of the most secretive operations in the world. It's a striking sight, those big white spears set against red mountains and desert, which turn to green after the rains, and it would look brilliant filmed from a drone. Trouble is, it's a complete no-fly zone. Given most of the action takes place in and around the facility, that has meant recreating it far from those prying eyes that refuse to be pried upon. We use drones to photograph a valley a few kilometers away from the real base, which we are going to build our digital base in, says producer Lisa Scott. We deliberately moved everything away from the real base. We don't need to antagonize anybody, and we didn't want disruptions to filming. Rumor has it the central operations room inside the real Pine Gap is as big as the MCG. But, Scott says, no one will commit to that. Tess Howe Brick and Parker swears outside the former Holden factory in South Australia, doubling for Pine Gap, photo, Lisa Tomasetti, ABC inside the South Australian Film Corporation studio in Adelaide. The production has had a go at conveying the scale of what they believe that control room looks like, with 168 computer screens spread across an entire soundstage, massive graphics on the walls, US and Australian flags hanging side by side from the ceiling, and extras buzzing about. And if the real place isn't quite the way it's been depicted here? They can't say it because they can't talk about it, laughs Scott. The exteriors of Pine Gap are off-limits too, of course, so the recently decommissioned Holden plant is doing double duty. Built around the same time as the spy base, it's a pretty good substitute, says Scott. We'll have to take her word on that. After all, who's going to tell us otherwise? Facebook, Carl Quinn Journalist Podcast, The Clappers Twitter, at Carl.